Coming up this week on Global Footprints, learn what innovative things people are doing to help cities be more sustainable. We'll feature green roofs and their importance in saving water. Let the sun shine in with passive solar. Get a tour of the eco home archetypes. And finally, growing food in a container will have you thinking inside the box. For the first time in human history, more than one half of people in the world live in cities. Because of urbanization, every year we destroy untold amounts of plants and fertile soil. Big cities mean big trouble for the natural world. The good news is we have the ability to change and there are currently innovative technologies in place that will help combat climate change in big cities. In 2009, Toronto became the first city in North America to adopt a bylaw to require the construction of green roofs on new development. This is a big step in the right direction. A green roof to us is composed of different elements. A green roof is plants, either plants via planting plants or via vegetated mats or sometimes trays. What a green roof does is so much more important than what it is. They make environmental sense by helping to reduce a city's heat island effect, capture stormwater, and reduce the indoor temperature of a building. <laughs> That's not a lot of hot air. Just 1.5 square meters of uncut grass on a green roof produces enough oxygen to supply one human with a year's supply of oxygen. Now, another major issue around urbanization is the way we build and construct our homes reducing energy consumption, conserving water, and building smarter places to live is the wave of the future. If you can stay in the neighborhood, develop that community feeling and everything else, that the house needs to be flexible enough to accommodate your different needs. And the one thing about these houses which was key and was critical in the design was they have to be flexible over time in terms of accommodating more people per house. So house A starts off as a three bedroom house However, it can be built out within the existing footprint to a seven-bedroom house. When most people think of green buildings or green homes, they usually think of reducing energy, but they don't really think of what the house is made of. So we took a careful look at when we were uh, designing these houses to make sure that we minimize the amount of wood that we possibly could. So in this, these houses here, we have all what is called FSC certified wood. And that's the Forestry Stewardship Council. And they certify that wood comes from a sustainable forest, so it's being replanted over time. Now, along with green roofs and solar technology, harnessing the wind to produce energy is one of the most sustainable things we can do in a big city. Now, you may think the two don't go together, but Toronto once again is the first city in North America to install an urban wind turbine. It generates enough electricity to power over 200 homes.